Hi guys, myself is Assistant Professor Rupali Mane. Today we are going to continue our second chapter which is Evaluation of Management Thought. In this chapter we can see various management scientists who contribute their views which is useful for the study of management. According to F.W. Tellers, he can define the elements of management study are as element of scientific method and second is principle of scientific management according to teller he can define their contributions in the form of provide the applicability of scientific methods to all the industry mutual resolution on the part of employee as well as company study the work systematically and introduce the concept of time and motion study focus on the need to separate the planning of work for its execution suggested manager to design the work system he was the first one to introduce the concept of functional specialist he believed in maximum output encourage the right people for right job every worker should be specialist in his job focus on the need of selection training and development of worker focused on standardization of method tool time material etc also promote better use utilization of resources then contribution of elton are in the form of extend the relationship between physical working condition and productivity extend the value of wages in the form of incentive general worker attitude towards work and team member extend the control of the individual upon working group then after mr henry he can also define their views related to a management study are as in four elements first is classification of business activity then managerial quality general principle of management then element of management classification of business activity are again divided into five groups which is are as first is commercial activity which is related to buying production selling and exchange of various product second is financial activity related to raising and utilizing fund third is security activity related to promoting property and person accounting activity related to keeping record of various type of business transaction then second element is managerial quality he also he described the various type of managerial quality in six different group which is are first is physical quality then second mental moral educational technical and experience quality which is used for their respective field then third element is general principle according to henry there are various type of general principles which is division of labor authority of responsibility discipline unity of command unity of direction subordination of individual to general in- interest centralization scalar principle order equity then element of management according to the henry there are various type of elements are available in management these elements are planning organizing commanding coordinating and controlling in that planning is one of the most important managerial function then peter also contribute their views which is focus on manager nature of management decision making task organizing structure in the form of 
activity analysis and decision analysis apart from that there are some indian management ether and their different style which is useful for the study of management so in that jrd tata he can define encourage diploma diplomatic commitment to value support you towards innovation give credit to his employee for even small development according to dhirubhai ambani role of this role of your sleeves and help to another person be safety net for your team dream big but dream with your eyes open learn the professional alone change your orbit continuously money is not a product itself it is a by product so don't chase it and last one mr narayan murthy can define their management style as under promising and over delivering always major performance against value always being unique in the market place and make sure that you are the one mover never give up according to murthy think big don't hesitate to start small be creating a successful organization it required to creating trust in people do it first and do it right so these are various type of scientist and management ether who can describe their views or opinions for management purpose which is useful for the study of management thank you